they are uh, they're just such an explosive offensive unit and tonight uh, we had no answers um, I, I, I overall I kind of liked our offensive rhythm but uh, we just couldn't get enough stops we had some key turnovers in the second half when he had it to about 10 that was the difference and you know Bagley was just the first pick in the draft he made a couple and I just said to myself wow he's really good so I, I'm very impressed with what our guys did here to get to this point. We have uh, emptied the tank, and um, we'll see what our fate is down the road. Whatever it is, we'll be accepting and proud, and we're actually getting healthier. So I look forward to playing in the postseason because we're, we're feeling a little better. Questions? Remember to please raise your hand. Let us get the handheld mic to you and let us know who you are, who you're with. Who is the first question? Doug Dowdy from Roanoke. Uh, what we, how did you feel at halftime, 41-37? I, I, I told our guys we're in a lot better position than we were the night before. You know, I mean, we were laughing. Like, this is, we're in great position. Even at the 15-minute mark when we made our run, we kind of made a reference. But... It's a different animal out there tonight when they're in an offensive rhythm like that. And, you know, you're darn if you do, darn if you don't. You know, they made all these threes early. We didn't want to help in the post because we thought we could maybe absorb twos. But then Bagley was just, you know, unbelievable. Back of the room. Tom Marion with AP Radio. Bonzi, what was it like playing against Bagley tonight? Yeah, um, you know, since I've been here, he's one of the toughest players to ever go against. He's really explosive. And, you know, he has a really quick uh, first step. So a lot of respect to him and how he played. Uh, you know, he deserved all the honors that he got this year. Um, he's a heck of a player. I respect him a lot. To our right. <clears throat> Mike, you said, um, you know, your team's just getting healthy for the first time. They've played a few games together now. What did you guys get out of this tournament, having your starting lineup together for the yeah, first time? Yeah, I, 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 would, I love seeing this group play together for three games, you know, and really four games. Um, when you add Virginia, where he played, you know, his 33 to 35 minutes. So, you know, I, um, we're excited about what the next challenge is in postseason, whatever it may be, because uh, we're feeling a little better about ourselves physically. Second row to our right. Yeah, Mike, when um, Bagley turns his left shoulder, sorry, here, left shoulder, and just, you know, goes with the layup into the basket, what... You know, what are you thinking and what's that going to be like at the next level for the NBA yeah. guys? I mean, he's really impressive. I mean, he, you know, it's a, he's a uh, can't miss star, in my opinion, just watching that tonight. You know, I, they rebound at a level above the rim that I haven't seen in college basketball. I don't remember some of the rebounds above the rim like that with their size and their athletic ability. It was interesting to be floor level and see that how they explode off the court. Reminder, both locker rooms are currently open. Next question to our left. Coach David Glenn from the David Glenn Show and ACCSports.com. For both of you guys, there's a storybook aspect to Bonzi's whole career and staying in school and wanting his diploma. You don't know where you're going, but can you just tell us how you, you would both digest uh, going from almost a Disney script to, to maybe not even being in the NCAA tournament if it comes to that? Yeah, you know, I, I think um, we're, we're, this has been a really mature group. <clears throat> they have taken their punches, and we're prepared to go wherever they send us. You know, when you lose seven in a row and you're under 500, you know, you're talking and dreaming about making a run to get to the bubble, which I'm very proud that we did. But you're also talking very realistically with our seniors that if it's the NIT, we'd be honored and let's come back to the garden. None of these guys have played in the garden. So I think, you know, we're, we know exactly where we're at. It'd be, I just want to, I'm just glad we're going to keep playing with this group and that he gets to play some more college games. Yeah, I think, um, you know, Coach summed it up. Um, you know, myself and, you know, the captains and the seniors, uh, you know, we stayed together through it all. We continue to uh, give confidence to the rest of the players that, you know, we could be special. And, um, you know, we know that we're going to play somewhere. We're ex excited about it. And um, we think we gave the committee a heck of a run of what we can do. And, um, you know, all you can ask for us is just go and give it our all and, and play to the buzzer ends and uh, play with heart, passion, and energy. And that's what we did today. 
And, um, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to Duke.